Did you know the average person gets distracted every 40 seconds while working? With the increasing prevalence of digital distractions and the constant demand for multitasking, maintaining focus and productivity has become more challenging than ever. However, technology also offers a remedy to this problem in the form of focus apps. These innovative applications are specifically designed to help individuals and teams stay focused, block distractions, and ultimately enhance their productivity. In this video, we will explore the world of focus apps and present some best focus apps of 2023 that can revolutionize the way you work and boost your efficiency. LeechBlock First up on the list, we have LeechBlock. LeechBlock works on most major browsers, is free, and gives you a bunch of options for blocking distractions. You can make lists of sites to block, then restrict them in all kinds of ways. You can schedule times for apps to be blocked outright. Alternatively, you can limit your time on distracting apps by setting up rules. For example, you could give yourself 15 minutes of YouTube time every day, or 5 minutes of Twitter every hour. You can get even more specific, if you want, combining time limits with a schedule, for example, 5 minutes of Instagram every hour between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Or, if you don't want to mess with schedules, you can trigger a one-off lockdown schedule. It's a lot of power, particularly for a free tool, and you can even lock down the settings during block sessions if you want. The only downside, this is a browser extension, not an app, so you can work around it by switching browsers. Rescue Time Rescue Time isn't, primarily, a distraction blocker, it's one of the best time tracking apps. But it does include a distraction blocking feature called Focus Session, so you can block distractions using your time tracking history. This works using data you're already providing Rescue Time, which allows you to designate apps and websites into three categories, Focus Work, Other Work, and Personal Activities. These lists are pre-populated when you set up an account and you can also customize them. During focus sessions, you can block everything but focus work or, if you prefer, just block personal activities. It's a great way to block distractions without having to build a separate block list, particularly if you're looking for a time tracking app anyway. Cold Turkey Next up, we have a Cold Turkey Blocker. Cold Turkey Blocker is, in a word, customizable. Install this site blocking app, and you can create lists of websites and desktop apps to block, then set a schedule for blocking. You could, for example, block social media and video sites during every workday. You could also block work apps when the workday ends. It's all up to you. Or, if you prefer, you can turn blocking on and off manually. There's even a mode called Frozen Turkey, which prevents you from accessing your computer entirely, turn on Frozen Turkey and you won't be able to log into your computer without it locking again. Because this is a system-wide tool and not just a browser extension, you can't work around it by changing browsers. But it goes further than that there are all kinds of settings that thwart future versions of yourself from working around your current intentions. Freedom Most distraction blockers work only on whatever device you're using right now. Freedom can block distractions, both websites and apps, on all of your devices, simultaneously. No more blocking Instagram on your computer, only to immediately open it on your phone. If you start a session, your distractions are blocked everywhere. Set up as many block lists as you want, then start or schedule a session. There's a lockdown mode, which makes it impossible to edit your block lists while a session is active consider that if you're prone to working around your own good intentions. There are also optional focus sounds, which are basically ambient background noise from coffee shops or nature. However, there's no long-term free version, only a limited trial that lets you run six distraction-free sessions. That should be enough time to figure out if it will work for you, though. Forest Your phone is a time machine, but not in a useful way. It's way too easy to pick it up and then notice a couple of hours have disappeared. Forest is an adorable app designed to help you with that. The idea is simple, you open the app and say you want to plant a tree. Then you put your phone down. If you pick up your phone and switch to another app, your tree will die. Last 25 minutes, and your tree will live. 
Over time, you'll grow an entire forest of trees, a reminder of all the time you intentionally spent getting things done instead of scrolling through Twitter. Focus. The basic idea with Pomodoro timers is that you work for 25 minutes before taking a 5-minute break. Focus lets you do this while also blocking distractions during your work sessions. This is a system-wide blocker that doesn't depend on browser extensions, meaning it's hard to work around once you start a work session. There are inspiring quotes when you try to visit a blocked site, which is a nice touch, but you can replace the quotes with whatever you want, for instance, you'd rather be yelled at instead of inspired. And it goes further, if you're a power user, you can write scripts to run at the beginning and end of every focus session. That opens up no end of customization possibilities if you want to mess around with it. Self-control. If you are a Mac user, then the Self-Control Focus app is a must for your productivity. It's very simple and easy to use. There's a block list, a dial for setting how long your block period should be, and a start button. That's it. But it stands out for one key reason, it's impossible to undo. Closing the app does nothing all of your distractions are still blocked. Deleting the app doesn't do anything, and neither does rebooting your computer. And that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey through the world of Focus Apps. We hope you found this video insightful and inspiring. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content on productivity, tech, and more.